Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASN Academy. So as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will solve another question on the topic of algebra and the question has appeared in the CAT 2004 exam. Now the question is as follows, let y equals 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus all the way up to infinity. Now what is the value of phi? We have provided 4 options for this question, option A root 13 plus 3 by 2 option b root 13 minus 3 by 2, option c root 15 plus 3 by 2 and option d root 15 minus 3 by 2. So this was our question that has appeared in the CAT 2004 exam on the topic of algebra and I would like you to try this question first by yourself and then come to this video for the solution. I hope that I have tried the question and you have got the solution and if you didn't then let's check the solution. So according to our given question, we are given to find the value of y such that y is equal to 1 by 2 plus, 1 by 3 plus, 1 by 2 plus, 1 by 3 plus all the way up to infinity. Now to find the value of y, we have to first crack the pattern and then replace the remaining part as y because if we have cracked the pattern then the remaining part is going up to infinity so it is equivalent as y also. So we can say that if we will form a quadratic or cubic equation and then we have to find the values of y from it. Now if you look carefully, we can see that 1 is unique over here, 2 is unique over here, 1 is again unique over here and so has 3 but from this part 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus the pattern is again starting to repeat. So we can say that this whole part above this bracket is unique but this part below the bracket is again y. So we can replace this as 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus y. So this is how you replace the pattern and we have replaced it with y and this is also equal to y. Now we have to solve this to find the value of y. Now let's take LCM in the denominator. So we have got 1 by 3 plus y as a denominator and in the numerator we will get 2 into 3 plus y that is equal to 6 plus 2y plus 1. Now whenever we have 1 by a by b then it is equivalent as b by a. So we can replace this as 3 plus y and 6 plus 2y plus 1 can be written as 7 plus 2y. Now we only have to cross multiply to find the value of y. So if we cross multiply, we will get 7y plus 2y square is equal to 3 plus y or finally we can say that 2y square plus 6y minus 3 is equal to 0. So according to our last step, this is the quadratic equation that we have got and we can solve it by using the middle term method or by using the formula. Now for this given quadratic equation, let us use the formula and to solve it by formula, it says that if we have a general quadratic equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0 and a, b, c are the numerical coefficients then the value of x is equal to minus b plus minus under root of p square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a. So this is actually the Chara formula and if you want to know more about this formula then we have made a separate video on our channel so you can go watch that video and then come back to this. Now we have to find the value of y and we just have to put the respective values of a, b, c in it. So we have got the value of y as minus 6 plus minus under root of 36 minus 4 into 2 into minus 3. So that is equal to minus 24 but we have got already a minus sign. So this has become plus 24. So we have got 36 plus 24 all divided by 2 into 2 that is equal to 4. Now if we will get 2 roots minus 6 plus minus under root of 36 plus 24 by 4. So we have got the value of y as minus 6 plus minus under root 60 whole divided by 4. Now we will neglect the value minus 6 minus root 60 by 4 because we are adding positive numbers and we cannot get a negative value by it. So our final answer is equal to root 60 minus 6 whole divided by 4. Now we have taken root 60 in front because it is greater than minus 6. Now if we calculate the value of root 60, it is equal to 2 root 15 and if we take out 2 common from 6, we will get minus 3 and if we take out 2 common from here as well, so we will get 2 in the denominator. So this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled and our final value is equal to root 50 minus 3 by 2 which is option number D according to our given question. So the value of y for our infinite series is equal to under root 50 minus 3 by 2.
was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video. And if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASN Academy.